Hey kindergarten crew, so today we're going to be reading Am I Big or Am I Little? Rise and shine, little one. Time for big kids to wake up. Mommy, am I little or am I big? You're both sweet pea, but how can I be big and little at the same time? Well, you're littler than I am, but I'm bigger than Kitty. Right, you're little enough to crawl under your bed, but I'm big enough to reach out and tickle you. You're little enough to ride piggyback to the stairs, but I'm big enough to hop all the way down. You're little enough to bury your face in Kitty's tummy, but I'm big enough to carry him like a baby. You're little enough to ride through the park in a stroller, but I'm big enough to make the pigeons fly away. You're little enough to stand on my feet while we dance, but I'm big enough to hold on tight when you spin me. You're little enough to have a tea party under the kitchen table, but I'm big enough to serve my guests first. You're little enough to want dessert all day long, but I'm big enough to wait for it. You're little enough to share your bath with a fleet of boats, but I'm big enough to be the captain. You're little enough to jump on your bed, but I'm big enough to make it when I'm done. Who makes their beds at home? Huh? Do you make it or does mommy and dad? You're little enough to share a blanket with your animals, but I'm big enough to save them from the dark. You're little enough to pretend you can fly to the moon, but I'm big enough to find my way home. Well, I'm glad you're still little enough to sit on my lap, and I'm glad I'm big enough to wrap my arms around you. Yes, sweet pea, you're like a big present in a little box. A present for you, mommy? Of course, just what I always wanted. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the story. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.